Hello, everybody. Welcome, welcome. Oh my gosh, it feels like it's been forever since uh, we've had a live coffee with Colby. Um, it's so good to be back and so good to see everybody. It's been crazy uh, last few weeks, as you know, and so much is happening. So I had this amazing, amazing tour in Australia and New Zealand, and it was jam-packed. We were we were on the run there through New Zealand and then Brisbane, Melbourne, really fantastic time. And then I got back and then a few days later headed off to Dallas. <laughs> so it's been pretty, pretty busy. Grab your cup and uh, settle in. And uh, as you know, most of you should be home. <laughs> So I should have a good following today anyway, right? Um, there's a lot going on. There's a lot around us. There's a lot happening. And when, when we kind of look and reflect, it's, uh, it's, it's time for us to kind of say, hey, how do we stay calm? Hello, hello, hi. Hi, Ralph and Lena. Good morning. I got my tea. Good girl. <laughs> Good girl, grab your cup. Um, so as you know, we definitely have a lot happening. We have a lot going on. Uh, the stress is high and there's just uncertainty, right? We're not really sure uh, what's coming up next or what the next measure will be. And I know that that can create some anxiety for some of you and just some worry maybe about your finances, about your health, about your family. And that's really, really normal. But how do we stay positive, right? Because it's easy to fall into that stress. It's easy to get wrapped up into that manic anxiety that we're seeing be perpetrated on media and social media. <laughs> So how do we stay in alignment? How do we stay connected to our higher self, our all-knowing self that reminds us that this is temporary, that it will end, that we will survive, that we will make it through, right? And hello, Nadia. And so in order for us to stay in that place, it's about making sure that when that anxiety steps in, you take a breath, you use your breath to simply allow it to move away and you get connected to that higher self to know that you are safe, that you're being trusted, that things are going to work out. Hi, Fabio. So it, it's staying positive and it helps to raise the vibration. So if all of us work together, uh, as one to raise the vibration if we make hi Michelle if we make a choice to use our energy to use our connection to raise the vibration then that will allow that vibration to be contagious for others others will start to feel good others will start to feel more optimistic others will feel more joyful even in the darker times or even in the uncertainty. Hi, Meredith. So when, when you have a choice, you can fall into that lower vibration. You can fall into that uncertainty. You can fall into that despair. But that's just going to manifest itself more and more, right? It's going to grow. And that's really not going to serve you. It doesn't serve you. That worry, that anxiety, that stress. Hi, Tracy just does not serve you. Hi, Tina. <clears throat> so what does serve us? What serves us is using, hi, Nancy. Everyone's getting in here. Hi, everybody. Um, what does serve us is staying connected to your higher self, sitting in your power, knowing who you are, staying connected to that space where you know it will be okay, where you know this will end, where you know that it will work itself out. And it will. I mean, this isn't a, a forever. <laughs> it may feel like forever, but it isn't. And it's temporary. So you have an opportunity. You know, again, what is something you've wanted to do, right? What is something you've wanted to do? Have you, wa have you had a desire to write a book? 
now would be a great time to do that. Now, now would be a fantastic time to sit down and put your thoughts on paper, write what you wanted to do. Maybe you really wanted to write a blog, you know, and, and it is Tina. I get it. So Tina's saying, Hey, it's hard. She wants to chat with people and it's hard. I get it, girl. I went to CVS to pick up a prescription and I tried to ask one of the workers where something was and she didn't want to look at me. <laughs> She had her head turned, her head down, and just yelled the aisle to me. And I get it. I, you know, I understand that that concern and that worry, and that's okay. We can hold the space for them. As a light worker, you can hold the space for others and know that your energy is limitless. So you can hold that space for an extended period of time and it won't drain you. It's not going to worry you as long as you're not feeding into that lower vibration, that negative energy. And so it's a battle, right? It's a battle. <laughs> Who's going to win? And I believe that the light workers can win this. I believe that all of us coming together, all of us raising that vibration, all of us staying positive, all of us looking at that glass half full will really, really help shift not only our own perspective, but the perspective of those around us. You know, maybe your smile might bring joy to someone. Just smile with your eyes if you have a mask on. <laughs> right? Hi, Jennifer. So look at this as an opportunity to either do something you've wanted to do and haven't had the time because you were so busy running errands and so busy kind of getting that checklist in order. You know, take that time to sit down and say, okay, what can I do with this time? You know, maybe it's about uh, spending time with the family, right? Maybe board games will become more popular, uh, things like that, things we grew up with. So uh, these are just some ideas. I'm sure you have your own ideas. I'm sure you have a million things that you know, you've wanted to do and you haven't had the time to do. And this is it. You know, here's a great idea. Uh, what about, uh, I say it's a great idea because it just popped in. <laughs> it wasn't, wasn't my idea. Oh, <laughs> uh, here's an idea. What if you've wanted to sew or crochet or do some crafts? You know, that's something all of us, like most of us really don't put the time into those hobbies, right? We really don't put the time into being creative because we're so busy making the money. We're so busy working for the man. So again, us stressing over it, us stressing over what is or isn't doesn't help us and it doesn't help those around you. And if you have kids or you have those family members around you, they're going to look to you for that energy, for that vibration. So set the example, set the example in your household, set the example within your relationships you have a choice of how you're going to react to our circumstances and our uncertainty. You have a choice in how you're going to react. So if you choose worry and fear and anxiety, you're just going to create more of that and you're going to make yourself sick and you're going to make yourself sad and you're going to make yourself unhappy and you're going to sit there and then give that to others because you're going to want them to feel the same way. But you're more powerful than that. You have more energy. You have more power. You're a light worker. So use that energy. Use that gift to remain centered. Okay. So to remain centered to stay connected to that higher self and to exude that positive light, that positive energy. And you'll see a shift. You will. You'll start this. If we all do that, think about it. If we all do that, think of the shift that it will create. If we look at Italy on the balconies singing, look at the shift that's creating. They're not just creating the shift for their community. They're creating the shift for the world to see. You have that opportunity within your own family, within your own dynamic. So take advantage of it. Take advantage, okay? Try not to worry. Try not to stress. Um, 
Keep your family and loved ones safe as best as you can. Keep yourself safe. We need you to be healthy so you have the energy. <laughs> and settle in. Settle into that soul. Do some meditation and say, what would you like for me to do during this time? Do I need to reflect more? Be more creative? Do a project I've been putting off? Do I need to reevaluate my life? Maybe I've been working in a job I actually don't want to do. So this break might be a good thing. Maybe I wasn't living authentically, or at least I wasn't living to my maximum potential. It's an opportunity for you to look at where you are, what you can do about it under the circumstances, to allow you to make better and stronger choices for you and your family and friends moving forward. Okay, so that is it. I might get to some writing. Mama needs to write anyway. You know how that spirit works for me. <laughs> Anyhow, oh my gosh. Um, Jennifer, so glad you got the book. A uh, couple things here. My books uh, are available online on Amazon. So thanks for getting it, Jennifer. You got to promise to leave a review, preferably five star. <laughs> Online, you guys, online I have some classes. I've got a live class coming up April 8th. You could take that. You could take some recorded classes online. They're all very inexpensive, okay? But some fantastic news that I don't want to miss telling you. Tomorrow night, tomorrow night, okay, is the premiere of a show that I have a few appearances on. And it's called True Tidings. And it is on the Travel Channel. And it's 10 p.m. Pacific time, so check your time zone. But you have to watch it for me. Support it. Please, please, please. Uh, it's with the Freddy Krueger guy. <laughs> he is the host. And it's folklore stories. So it's stories that were literally in papers. And back in the 1800s and different times. And we look at them. We reenact those stories. And we tell whether or not that's... A spiritual phenomenon or is it just folklore right so those are your your choices like let's watch it you can uh, sit with the family <laughs> it's family friendly and it's on the travel channel so please 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 watch it and join me and it is tomorrow night Meredith it is the 18th that it's on uh, March 18th on the travel channel if it's uh, too late in your time zone hit that record button dvr it for me right watch it i can't wait to see you guys um all right so don't despair right don't despair it will all repair right don't worry about it it's gonna work itself out no sense in getting yourself all upset and all worried do something positive for yourself and in the world today all right remember to shine your light and shine it bright Thursday night, catch us live for the Colby Rebel Show. Jennifer Schaefer will be in studio with me. In studio, we'll be taking your calls for our vino and voices. Uh, we may need a little extra wine this week, so you'll have to forgive us. <laughs> Just kidding. All right, lots of love to you, everybody. Remember to share, like, lots of love. I've missed you so much. Have a beautiful day. Bye, everybody.